Well, good morning there, YouTubers. It is I, the one, the only, and yes, I do mean only, Big D, coming to you live and in person with another exciting, informative Big D video. But before I get started, have you subscribed to this channel? If not, why not, you big loser? Hmm? Subscribe. The no bullshit channel. Enough of that going on out there to last a lifetime. Some of the comments I get is unbelievable. Like the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Share this channel. Let's get the word out what's really going on out there. First, I'm going to respond to a um, comment left yesterday by some guy or girl driving a truck that I'm unrealistic. But if you watch the videos, I actually posted. Yes, I posted my washout sheets. I proved what I did. And driving 900 miles of deadhead. I didn't say to drive 900 miles of deadhead. I said, if you go out to Seattle, Washington, those areas, that's what you're probably gonna end up doing. And guess what? A lot of truckers do it too. <laughs> yeah, some people are just stupid. I can't, I can't fix stupid on here, folks. Don't go to places where you're gonna have to deadhead an extreme amount of miles out. Simple as that. You got a good rate going out, well good, you're gonna pay it going out and getting out of there because there's no freight out there. Duh. <sighs> you just can't make this stuff up. And as far as unrealistic numbers, I posted the washout seats. I broke down my cost. I showed the receipts. How much more realistic do you want? I mean, I see people out there. I saw a broker, or not a broker, but a, a dispatch. Guy couldn't do it on his own in his own van. He uh, started the channel. All you guys jumped on board. And he's talking about, look at this, man. I did $12,000 this week. He's a dispatcher. He dispatched $12,000. About 70% to 75% of that's going to the drivers. Then you get your little door feed, your electric, blah, blah, skippy. And he ended up with like 1200 bucks. Hey, Walmart is hiring. So is McDonald's. Uh, you see... I can make any number look good. The bottom line is what the number looks like, though. I'm sorry. You know, uh, is freight moving? Still slow. I mean, there's, it's moving. It's just still cheap. I mean, you had a little reprieve on gas prices. I mean, it went down 40 cents or something. So, I mean, hey, anything helps. But, you know, what are you going to do? Now, I had someone say, I heard you're selling your van. That is correct. I am selling my van. In fact, it's sold, actually. I put a couple front tires on it. Actually, the person who bought it found that it was my van. I was excited because they know I took care of it. So, yeah. And I'm not going to let they, let them drive it here to Texas with that one. T I have a tire. Passenger side, front. That's a plug-in. It's near the sidewall nail one in it. I plugged it because I'm only driving 30 miles a day, so, you know, just wear it for what it's worth. I go back over the road. I was going to put new tires on it anyway, so I got the tires, and before they pick it up, I'll put those new tires on it. And I got a little more cleaning due to it, but I'm still using it. So, yes, Big D's coming off the road due to family issues. Will I be getting into transportation? I'll probably be doing some gig work. I'm looking for something like a, uh, a RAV4, Forester, an Outback. We have a 2022 Outback it's paid for. For all those realistic numbers that I supposedly have, I paid cash for the damn thing. It's $41,000. Hmm. So, uh, you know, I, I have a Class B motorhome hmm. sitting in my driveway. Hmm. Yeah, I make stuff up all the time. That's why I have this stuff. But anyway, yeah, it's going to roll. And when it does, I'm going to take the money and buy one of those. And I'll probably do some Walmart spark. And I might go out there and compete with Laredo Larry. Steals, steals loads over there at the airport. With lift. That's right. Laredo, I'm coming for you. <laughs> uh, if I do anything, probably delivery. But uh, anyway, uh, 
pretty much just been taking it easy. My foot is uh, healed pretty much, the, you know, and everything. It's, it's doing fine. It still swells is the issue, and that's why I'm staying off the road because of the feet swelling. And, uh, like I said, other issues at home. So, that being said, because I shouldn't be on it all the time either. <laughs> but, you know, as you get older, folks, that's what happens. But I'll be doing some transportation here and there, maybe some courier work. Don't know. I'm worried about it. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about the eBay store. How's it doing? Hmm? Let's see. Let's see if I can bring it up. Uh... <laughs> right now, I just won over a thousand dollars worth of clothes at an auction. Yeah, thousand dollars, but it's almost two hundred items. Okay, and uh, these are uh, designer clothes. I got a coat worth a hundred. There's ten items in there that just paid for it. The rest is profit. Also, found a lot of. I'll show you. This is one of the shirts. Vineyard. Vines, those are expensive shirts. Um, these jeans were in that lot too. AGs, $50 pair of used jeans, $5. $30 shirt, $5. This is being shipped. Got that for a dollar, sold it for 30. In case you don't know what a blow mold is, I'll show you one because I just sipped one out yesterday for $125 and they paid the freight. Um, that Santa there, that's a blow mold. I paid $5 short. So, you know, we're um, um, basically, let me see. I have 200 items listed right now. Let's see the sales sheet, the sales. I tell people you can make money. Orders, there we go. Go to all orders. It says here I'm 14 away, and I'll show it to you in a second. Eighty-six orders for sales of four thousand five hundred forty-eight fifty-seven, which means after they take their fees and the freight that came out, the charge in there, I got thirty-four twenty-one eighty-one, which means I made about twenty-four hundred dollars last month. Little side hustle there. Do the hustle. Do 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 the hustle. Do do do. I'll show you some stuff I've actually gotten. top there those are shoes those uh Reeboks size 14 brand new in a box three dollars they're worth 101 dollars I've sold a couple pair like that got them brand new in a box sold them for a hundred dollars yes I mean stuff like this 50 cents it's worth 10 bucks that's right it's hard to believe that that used 10 bucks but uh, we flip stuff. And uh, I'll give you an idea of what's going on back here. We're getting this mess straightened up. All the boxes and stuff. Look at the shoes down there. I got boxes of shoes, too. Those are all going to go. And then I got a, a, ski, uh, a case of books. It's a big box of books out in the van. I paid $100 for them. They're worth $700. If I get $600, i will be happy. <laughs> yeah. You can make money on eBay. We're going to be uh, going over to Macari and Poshmark, getting software to 
transpose everything over there. Because in certain clothing, you get higher rates. But, uh, yeah, in the soap stores. The soap store here at the Outlet Mall is doing the malls. We're making money, just not a lot of it. I prefer to make more. But for now, I got my eBay store in that back room. So, you know what I care. You can make money, like I said. You can do a little side hustle here. You know, people look at me and, you know, you can see this is shoulder and chipped with a blow mold that went out yesterday. A little Santa there. $125, $171.71 with freight and taxes. My freight was $36.95 to them, and I paid $24 something to ship it. So, money's to be made, folks. I mean, you're going to have a... You can start out small and you sell like 10 items at a yard sale. You know, be selective. Get stuff that's worth it. Flip it on eBay, make some money. Drop it off at the post office and go. I mean, you're going to have to do a lot of things to make money in this economy. I hate to tell you this. I mean, look at this. This is the outlet mall. Booming, isn't it? <laughs> You know, during the week, it's kind of up here. During the weekends, you make money, but up here in the week, yeah. So I'm using it for doing the eBay stuff. But when I hook up with some big work at night, because I'll leave here at 5 and maybe pick up something near here, take it towards Cincinnati, get paid. <laughs> I'm always into making money. So Big D is not struggling. I'm just, you know, I get up later in the day and everything. Taking it easy. Appreciate the comments and the loyalty from you fans out there. Uh, but I'm going to keep posting about what's going on in the industry because I know what's going on out there. I hear it all the time. People crying, getting out like the mass exits, and you have those. Oh, I'm making tons of money. Good for you. Let's see it. Proof is in the pudding. Show your expenses. Show your washouts. Come on. I did. Why won't you? It's easy to talk, folks, and to blow sunshine up your butt. But the reality is, that's not always the case. And my numbers are unrealistic. My numbers aren't unrealistic. I showed them. I put the paper up. Let you read it. Maybe people should watch and learn before they make comments. Just because they failed doesn't mean everybody else does. And that being said... I've said it before, and a lot of the people who a lot of you guys watched, and I mean, they have more subscribers than me because they told you everything was sunshine and butterfly kisses and all was good and gold, and you know, which is great. But the reality is, is that that's not always the case. And we want you to know the truth, both sides. It's not always rosy. And they're not even in business anymore. Hmm. They didn't really like expediting. Will I go back to it when everything straightens out again? Yeah, I'll probably get a bigger van then too. But for now, I'll be doing my little gig work and I'll be doing stuff on that and eBay and I'll be talking about what's going on in expediting because I am still really in touch with what's going on out there. So this is a big D saying, let's go make some monies.